it to WrestleMania as the champion. So, thank you very much. If there's any other information I may give you, please feel free to let me know. Paul, let me... I can still appreciate you, Paul, even though you're such a dick. No, 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 no. You see, now, let, let's get something straight. Paul, the wait a minute. Let me tell you and allow me to thank you for telling me where I'm supposed to be when I already know where I'm supposed to be, Paul. Do you know that you have to defend the title against Bobby Lashley in Madison Square Garden? Do you know that Bobby Lashley may not even pass concussion protocol? And do you know that if Bobby Lashley doesn't pass concussion protocol, I'll still have your back, Brock Lesnar. I'll make sure it's a title match worthy of the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. So, Brock Lesnar, I'll see you at the Garden. Uh, newsflash, Paul. Newsflash. Brock Lesnar is doing just fine without Paul Heyman. And let me take this time to thank you, Paul, for telling me where I'm supposed to be. Now let me take this time to tell you where you're going to be Friday night. You see, Friday night, you're going to be standing in a ring in Hershey, Pennsylvania, standing next to your little tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Demanding some acknowledgement. Well, guess where Brock Lesnar's going to be Friday night? Saskatchewan? Eh. Brock Lesnar, Friday night, is coming to SmackDown to introduce you two knuckleheads, the new reigning, defending, WWE Heavyweight Champion of the World, Barack Lesnar! Oh, what kind of fireworks are we going to witness this Friday night on SmackDown between the WWE Champion, Brock Lesnar, and the Universal Champion, Roman Reigns? And also, one week from Saturday, Madison Square Garden, will it be Bobby Lashley? Will it be someone else? Paul Heyman? Who knows? It could certainly be a roadblock on the road to WrestleMania for the Beast Incarnate, the new WWE Heavyweight Champion. You should have been there. I was, I was in the chamber. We were tight. And then we the broke through the thing in the next minute. You are the intro team, gentlemen. He's, he's right behind me, isn't he? He's like a freak. I know. Freak. I can feel him breathing on my shoulder. <laughs> what? Given that we're only six weeks from WrestleMania and you are our main event superstars, your path to the grandest stage of them all doesn't seem to be clear at all. Don't you but get it? <laughs> Patrick, you don't get it. We have a path. You're looking at the best tag team on Raw, okay? Do you not remember how we beat RK Bro two weeks ago? <laughs> and then last week, Seth freaking Rollins. That's you. Him. Beat Randy Orton. <laughs> Beat him. Okay? And that's why he and I, we went to management. And tonight, when we win this tag team match, when, when we beat RK Bro again, we will be added to the Raw Tag Team Championship match in just two weeks. Oh, and then, when we win that match, we will be Raw Tag Team Champions. <laughs> and then, and then, the possibilities 
for WrestleMania or Endless. Maybe, maybe we'll challenge the Usos, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, to a match, a match of champions. Oh, people love the title. Yeah, match title. champion. Yeah, yeah. Title for title for title. For yeah, title yeah. For title for title how's, for title for how's that <laughs> for a path, Patrick? Stupendous. <laughs> That's the whole thing. WrestleMania is going to be stupendous. Because of us! You know what, actually, that path I just laid out for, it's so good. The idea of me going to WrestleMania with my best friend as tag team champion is so good. It actually makes it bearable that WrestleMania is happening in that hellhole known as Dallas, Texas. Bro versus Rollins and Owens tonight on Raw. But we've got more tag team action on tap right now. Well, they inserted themselves into the title picture. Seth freaking Rollins and Kevin Owens. You know who else wants to be in the title picture? Do the Solo Cups give them away? The Red Solo Cups are back and it's Spoke Season here in Gamecock Country. In fact, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, yeah, the rainy Red Solo Cups with a smile on my face and makes my heart happy. But the question is now with the Alpha Academy having to deal possibly with Kevin Owens and Seth freaking Rollins, should they beat RK Bro? They gotta refocus and take on the very dangerous Street Profits here on Monday Night Raw, and it's next. made it to the Olympics because Chad Gable is hyper-focused on whatever goal is at hand. The same can be said for the number one guy, the tree trunk, Otis. I don't see anybody dethroning the academy for a while. Oh, we're starting out. It's Angelo Dawkins versus Chad Gable. The strength of Chad Gable from the outside. Oh! Right now for Dawkins and Ford, it's about upgrading their position in the Raw Tag Team title division. Obviously, a victory here over the Raw Tag Team champions will go a long way. Beautiful maneuver by Chad Gable. Gut wrench position, you know Greco-Roman guys, they know that very, very well. Is that a grand deal oh. from uh, Dawkins a minute ago? Close, close. I'm oh, bad. I'm learning. I've been watching I like that. Angelo Dawkins in complete control of the moment. The Street Profits have been red hot lately, and the same could be said for arguably Boom! Oh. The entire oh. Raw tag Moves team like division that. just continues to heat up week after week. Cover, shoulders down. Near fall, but out before three. At this very moment, the Alpha Academy, Gable and Otis, are the kingpins of the Raw Tag Team Division. But we'll find out later tonight just how much more treacherous Alpha Academy's path to WrestleMania will be. 
Take a look at the ridiculous oh, height and agility. Oh, yeah. accuracy. Oh, yeah, that too. Right in the mug, but here comes the tree trunk. The guy's impossible to take off his feet, Otis. A true force of nature. Just ask Montez Ford. McCord, you're right about